Hey guys, this is Redberry, and this is, I'm showing y'all some of the land that we have that we do the crawfishing on. This actually is our canal that we drain our fields from, or we add water to the fields. The fields here are, uh, used to be marshland, so it's a pump on and pump off field. It's lower than the road, so... Years ago, it was marshland. So that's our canal there. And then right over this levee right here, there's another canal on the other side, kind of like the main canal that runs. We have canals that run all around us. So, and in this canal, we have many alligators. Uh, maybe, you know, today I'll be able to get a glimpse of one to show y'all so you can you gotta kind of be very careful and be always alert looking for them because sometimes they are very hard to spot in all this grass and they can be just sitting there and they'll sit there with just their eyes above the water and the tips of their ends of their noses and they just look like a log or something, you know. It's kind of hard to tell that they're, they're even there. Yep, around here, flat, flat, flat. We have flat and we have flatter. <laughs> and water, lots of water. So if you come across, this is our road. I call it our levee road. We can, it's big enough to pass like the truck on, but mostly we travel around here on the four wheeler. And then you come across this road, and this is our fields. Well, two of them. We have lots of acreage out here, but this is one crawfish field. This year we only did, like I said, we kind of started to see how we would do, and kind of like a little side thing. So, uh, I think we had close to 400 traps, maybe, 380, something like that, in two different cuts. This is like a smaller cut, and then this is the big one that y'all saw me working. Okay, guys, got my boots raised up. I have hip boots here, because here I'm coming. Remember, we came across that road, and this is our, our field, and as you can see... I'll be in the pond soon. So you have to have hip boots out here. There's no way about it. You can see this is like slush, muck. I don't know what to call it, but it's gooey, sticky, and sometimes it'll act like quicksand. But I wanted to get over here and show y'all. Usually I don't walk out here without the shovel just for kind of like a walking stick but look how pretty the flowers are these are flowers that grow on the water I don't know what kind they are but maybe somebody that knows more about native wild plants might know you can see it's they're very pretty it's kind of a small flower but not too small and they just grow you can see out of the water this is all wet slushy and then that's the water and they j it's just full all that full 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 of these and they have this type of grass that grows i think it's pretty too and you can see across it's all them little yellow flowers okay guys i'm going to show y'all this is an artificial bait. We don't normally use this bait, but today we're going to go ahead and use it. And uh, on that side, it looks like a piece of booty. <laughs> to me, it looks like you can get it, you can get it in these big, probably 50 pound sacks. And um, it says it's a processed grain, and they got byproducts and molasses and calcium and that's just your basic feed. It's supposed to attract crawfish to the traps. 
and um, you can just leave them, put them back in the traps and replace as needed. They'll eventually just dissolve. It doesn't have a label. It had this label. This little paper label I'm trying to look for y'all. Yep, 50 pounds. Just what I kind of guesstimated. So that's that. And we normally use fish. Uh, like I showed y'all in the other video that I was putting in the trap. It's a very stinky fish. And so we wear rubber gloves because if you use, if you do it too much with your hands, the fish, that smell will get on you. And you cannot get it off. I mean, it's it's really bad. He's in the boat and he's going to run some traps and get the crawfish. And then later... I'm going to show y'all how I do with the grading table. Okay, this is the grading table. And... Ow. They will pinch you. They will grab these gloves and pinch. But you just run them over the, the rollers pretty much. And the little ones fall through. That's basically it. And let me back up a little bit. You can see. See how the sack hangs from the table and we can usually put two sacks. That's how it is. 